Welcome back to Infinity Platter. I've been living in Barcelona for two and a half years now and I'm so grateful that I'm able to experience this city like a local. As a local, you get to know more places than you would normally know as a tourist, which is why I started this series to show you my favorite spots in Barcelona. And today I'm going to show you my five favorite cocktail bars of Barcelona. So when you visit next, don't just go to the usual tourist places. There's so much more this city has to offer. We're starting our cocktail journey today at rooftop bar Al Aire at Hotel Condes. So let's check it out. Hi Michelle. Hi Ash, how are you? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Let's go outside to check the tourists a little. Perfect, after you. Can you tell me a little bit about the bar? Well, yes, I do. Uh, in fact, uh, this bar was, uh, wasn't planned in the beginning of the, the hotel. The family bought the hotel around the middle of the 90s and it was an office building and they decided to make it a hotel. And 10 years later, they just found out that everyone from the staff was coming up to have coffee up here. And it was because they had an amazing view in an amazing spot. So they decided to make this a uh, tiny, small terrace for the guests of the hotel. And within the years, the business has been growing and now we can host up to 400 guests wow. in a day having cocktails and, and tapas at the bar. Let's go grab some cocktails inside yes. with Alex. Yes. Okay. Hi Alex, nice to see you again. Hi Ashu. So what cocktails are you making for us today? Let me show you. Treats. Yeah. So colorful and nice. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, enjoy. Ooh, that's refreshing. From here, I can see Tibidabo, Casa Mila, Sagrada Familia. So with views like this, it's a perfect spot for a brunch or sunset cocktail. I'm going to enjoy my cheesecake and have my cocktail and I'll see you at the next bar. Ciao! So we're at our next bar, Kyodai 33. It's such a chill place that serves specialty coffee, unique cocktails and some food, which is all Japanese inspired. So let's go meet Carlos and Santi. Hola Carlos, hola Santi. Hola, hello. Bienvenida. Gracias, happy to be back. Yeah. I wanted everyone to know about your wonderful place. 
So first, you want to tell us a little bit about Kyoda 33 and a little bit about yourselves. Hi, welcome. I'm Carlos Reyes from Colombia. I'm living in Barcelona about 17 years ago. I was working in cocktail bars and nightclubs, beach club as well, and I love the, the cocktail is my passion. And to meet you, my name is Santi Ortiz from Barcelona. More time working for the bartender. Now he's the partner for Carlitos, he's the big brother. Can you tell me a little bit about your famous ice work? Okay, the now is the famous uh, ice work is for important for Japanese culture. It's the element is so more important than the cocktails. The culture typical for Japan is the occasion for ritual and presentation. So Carlos, what cocktail are you making for me today? I will make you an ambassador. Love it. Thank you so much. I think it's the whole thing that I love. <laughs> Guys, this is so much fun. Imagine coming to this place and your drink is hidden. You have to find a password. So much fun. And Santi, what cocktail are you making me for today? My cocktail creation for the Momo. Momo is a delicate uh, cocktail with a presentation for very special for you. This is Momo significate for Japan is delicate or more sweet and uh, peach in okay. Japanese, okay? Cheers to you. Mm. That's very, very nice. Thank you so much. I love it, guys. So, guys, when you visit Barcelona, you know another bar that you should come to and meet these lovely people, have their lovely cocktails and their yummy food and their specialty coffee. I'm going to finish my cocktail and I'll see you at the next bar. Okay guys, now let's go to Galileo. Hola Andreu. Hello, hi, how are you? Good. Welcome. How are you? All good, all good. And you? Good. Today I'm showing everybody my five favorite bars of Barcelona. And of course yours is one of them. Wow, I'm <laughs> super happy to hear this. Thank you. So, what do you have for us today? So we have a couple of cocktails and a couple of dish. Okay. All right, cool. Um, we're gonna start off with a uh, dry martini, Ooh. our Galileo martini. Nice. Right? Cool. Are you thirsty now? Um, yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we're gonna start preparing it for you. Let's do it. So, this is, our, is one of our um, signature cocktails. Mm -hmm. And it's a bone dry martini, really spirit forward but full of flavor. Okay. Right? We've got a few different ingredients in that, but we're gonna pre-batch it okay. and uh, use it from the bottle. So okay. it's a martini that has the flavor of hazelnut, strawberry and tomato all together. Oh, nice. Right? And 
the garnish, it's pretty peculiar. This is a oil mm -hmm. that we make in our kitchen with the flavor of uh, parsley. Oh. Right, so it's gonna be bright green. Look at this. Oh, so that's beautiful. Every time you catch one of these dots with your uh, mouth, the oil is gonna coat your palate, change the texture, and so the flavor. And there we go. I hope you're thirsty enough. I am. Cheers to Galileo. Cheers. Since you like it this much, I'm gonna show you one of the secrets behind the, the preparation of the drink, which is almost scientific. Ooh. <laughs> show sure. me at the lab. Wow. So, I am in a science lab. Right? <laughs> So this is an instrument that they use in um, laboratories of uh, chemistry and uh, perfumery. So this is called a rotary evaporator and it's a distiller. So what we do with this, we take a liqueur, a frangelico, which is a uh, hazelnut liqueur. And what we do, we separate the uh, spirit from the, um, let's say, syrup. Right. So we use the syrup, the leftover syrup for our coffees. Okay. All right. And the uh, hazelnut spirit is inside uh, the martini, complementing the flavor profile with the strawberry and tomato. Right. Kind of weird, right? And so you do it three times, one for tomato, one for strawberry. Exactly. And then get three types of them and then mix them together. Exactly. In different proportions. Which makes the syrup in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So Galileo is a, a cocktail bistro in the heart of the Echample area in Barcelona. It's super centric. It's not only a restaurant and it's not only a cocktail bar. So actually here at Galileo, since we got a really cool kitchen, we do pairings between cocktails and food. I've actually come here three times and right. had the food and cocktail <laughs> pairing all the time. Awesome. <laughs> I'd highly recommend the food and cocktail pairing here, guys. <laughs> So Ash, would you like to try another drink? Yes, that would Fantastic. be good. Well, you know what? I feel a little bit sore today. Why, why don't you make it? I see. So <laughs> I'm your bartender? Of course. Okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> well, this is going to be a shaken drink. Okay. Right? Okay. So with a shaken drink, we're going to need a shaker. Okay. <laughs> Stretching. Stretching out a little bit. <laughs> okay. my friends is called the Calypso. Why don't you try it and tell me? Oh, I would be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. I would like you to join my team. <laughs> <laughs> so what other elements of the bar do you incorporate in your food? Actually, we do a kitchen preparation using scotch. So we do a scotch gel with fish broth for a prawn dish. Nice. Yeah, would Scotch you like uh, to step inside the kitchen and see how we done it? Ooh, I'd love to. Cool. Let's go. Interesting combination. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, leave me to enjoy my food and drink and I'll see you at the next bar. Ciao. Hello. Hello, Antonio. <laughs> Hi, welcome. How are you? Really good, really good. Okay, welcome so today to <laughs> I'm back but, and I want to introduce you to all my lovely followers. Hello, hello. I want them to know a little bit more about your bar. Perfect. So, let's okay, go. let's go for the action. Okay. okay. I'm going to prepare your favorite cocktail. Okay, the name is Kerry Kitty and it's like an inspiration, of course, in the amazing mix of curry.
<laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I love this one. <laughs> Guys, this is called Kari Kiri, Indian Spices. So, Antonio, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, now uh, my name is Antonio Naranjo. I am making cocktails from the last 11 years. Uh, it was my passion in the first time I started to work it. Uh, I don't go to any school. I learn all of myself. I always, if I need to know something, I investigate, I make investigation. And this is how I grow like a bartender. Where did you learn about spices? I mean, what inspired you to work with spices as your main theme? When I decide to open a bar, I always try to find a personality. And this personality was a traveler. And this traveler learned about the cultures of all the countries and actually the cuisine and the culinary things. And the spices are in all the countries. People need to learn more about it yeah. because we have uh, rich things in our hands where we don't explode it. I'm going to get you back lots of spices. Please. And then when I come back here, you have to make me sa a drink with those spices. We are going to make together. It's a deal. Deal. Salute. Deal. Deal. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see the camera. You have to teach me how to. Shake like that. Chick, 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 it's so easy. Only need to jump inside the bar and I'm going to teach you. Now? Yeah, come. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, exactly this combination. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> oh, you are going in the next level. Eh? <laughs> Go inside, yeah. Yeah. One paper straw because we are well, eco healthy. Perfect, good. yeah. And we have. Okay, uh, guys, this is for you. Don't forget to visit Estesiaran when you come to Barcelona. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> last bar for the day. I absolutely love this place. The amount of history of this bar is unbelievable. It is actually the oldest bar of Barcelona and the bartender Adal has an amazing energy, such a positive vibe. It's probably why I have such a great time every single time I come here and I can't wait to show it to you. So come on, let's go in. Hola, bienvenida. I'm, I'm back. Hi. And I wanted everybody to know about your place. So tell me what you have planned for us. Oh, today we have a very special day. Today we will enjoy a daiquiri, a classic daiquiri from our house with our style, a martini, best martini in the world, you will see. And a, a very special cocktail for you, a very a forgotten cocktail, a blue blazer. We go for 1850s to wow. Jerry Thomas, we go to America to make one of the forgotten and one of the most famous cocktails in the whole history. That's amazing. Come on, let's get started. So, let's we go. <laughs> so, uh, we will do a daiquiri, a classic daiquiri from the house. We will do the daiquiri that Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway, loved to take here. Because Ernest Hemingway was a very friend of the house was a very friend of our founder. They make a friendship in La Floridita, in Cuba, because our founder was the first head bartender of La Floridita in Cuba, where well, La Floridita was called the Silver Pineapple. So you will take the real, the real, real daiquiri, the real, the real one from the 19s, from, wow. the 90s, from the early 19s. So here we go, the daiquiri that the Hemingway love to take here. It's very easy, we change from the original recipe because in the original recipe they use lime, we will use a lemon, because he loves lemon here in Spain. In Cuba, he takes lime. But here in Spain, he wants lemon, a little bit of sugar, not so much, just a little bit, because he was diabetic. And then, he has, <laughs> and then we use marraschino liqueur. It's a cherry liqueur, mm. a dry cherry liqueur. We use a touch. And we, we just need a Cuban rum, any, any Cuban rum that you want. 
So don't take care about the rum. This is Cuban is good. <laughs> a good uh, white Cuban rum. Co cocktail bartending is love. <laughs> so, so here you have the crushed ice as the Sea of Cuba. There, Maraschino Sherry at the dessert. Wow. And our fabulous daiquiri, Hemingway daiquiri. I'm having Ernest Hemingway's daiquiri in Boadas. Oof. Cheers. Ooh, that is delicious. So much. Oh, I love it. It's, it's full of love. That's the reason. I can feel it. Oof. You have to actually teach me how to do your... I think you need to, to, to learn how to throw because, and how to make the best cocktail in the history, the martini. Okay. The martini, or best cocktail in the history of cocktails. <laughs> okay. So come with me Ooh. and we'll start to throw. Interesting. So, we go for the martini. Yes. The martini or between the lovers of martini, the silver bullet. We go for a silver bullet. For me, it's, this is not a cocktail, it's a lifestyle. This is the difference between the, the martini and the rest of the cocktails. Wow. All the rest of the cocktails are cocktails. But martini is a lifestyle. You will see, your measurement will be perfect, I'm sure. Perfect. You will see. Okay. And now, to drink in Boadas, we have a tradition, call it the reverence, la reverencia de Maria Dolores. The Maria Dolores reverence. So you cannot take the glass because it's so filled. Yeah. You need to drink with both the hands. And it's a reverence to the cocktail, to the martini. Now, usually we use an olive, but today, we will use a, a homemade perfume of uh, Palo Santo, cedar, uh, patchouli, grapefruit, and lemon. Wow. And for us too. <laughs> we got it. An edible perfume. <laughs> and we can drink again. Oh, that smells yum. Oh, this is a martini. Ooh. You do it very nice. It's a good <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Brilliant, I loved it. Hey, you did so nice. No, really. Really, she's doing I'm nice. I'm going to practice time. someone. That's crazy. Cheers. You can be a very good martini drinker. Oh, I'm going to practice that. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Guys, what you're going to see next is mind-blowing. <laughs> Here we go. We have jars. We have a high-proof alcohol. And now we only need to throw from one yard to the other with a lot of love. Here we go, and not only love. This is the way, slowly, like making chocolate. We need to do it. We burn the alcohol, and we have a hot, a hot cocktail for the winter, and a very nice show for the customers. <gasps> one of the most wonderful, beautiful, and hypnotic cocktails in the history. Here we go, one more time. As we know, in a slow motion now, for the last one. And this is the blazer, the blue blazer, the most famous cocktail ever. And if you want to try it, you only need to come to the cathedral. My gosh, guys, this, the information, the experience is just so overwhelming. It's difficult to show this to you in a matter of few minutes. So to experience it as a whole, you must come here. So that is the end of today. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we loved making it for you. So when you come to Barcelona yet next, you know where to come to have a good time. Highly recommend not doing all the five places in one day. We actually shot it over five days. So space it out, drink responsibly, and have a fun time. And I'll see you next week. 